Henry the Green Engine is one of the most reliable engines on the Fat Controllers Railway. But it wasn't always that way. When Henry first came to Sodor, he was a different shape and had a smaller firebox. But this meant that regular coal would make it difficult for Henry to build up steam. Oh, my boiler's grumbling. <laughs> Maybe it's grumbling because you're too slow, Henry! So the fat controller gave him Welsh coal for his small firebox. And for a while, he felt much better. But after a big accident, Henry was sent to a large engine works far away, where they gave Henry a new shape and a much larger firebox. Now Henry runs smoothly on the rail, pulling trucks and coaches back and forth as easily as pack. His two favourite jobs are pulling logs from the forest and pulling the flying kipper. But they can be very tiring and worrisome jobs, especially for an engine who worries as much as Henry. Early one morning, Henry popped into the washdown looking very tired. Gordon and James were already there, finishing getting clean. Ugh, another night of working with fish, Henry? I'm happy that it's not me pulling the flying kipper, but <coughs> doesn't mean I love the smell of fish. Ooh, after a while, you don't even notice the smell. Who wouldn't notice that smell? Stinky fish on a stinky steamy. Ah, it makes my oil curdle just thinking about it. I don't know. I kind of like the smell of fish. What do you want, Diesel? Oh, I just came by to see Henry. Really? I thought we were going back to the diesel works to collect some... Quiet, Paxton. I just wanted to sing Henry a song I learned. Ahem. Once an engine attached to a train, was afraid of a few drops of rain. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, sorry, Diesel. It's just that after hearing that song so many times, it doesn't bother me anymore. Indeed, Diesel. Even Gordon and I are tired of that story. Though I can't get enough of the story about the diesel who tried to pull old trucks. <laughs> <laughs> this made Diesel cross. He didn't like being laughed at, especially by Steamies. Then, a devious smile crept on Diesel's face. You know, Henry, I'm really glad you got that new shape of yours all those years ago. Can't you go bother someone? Wait, you are... Yeah, it's a good thing you did. Or else the back controller would have sent you for scrap for good. He would have? That's not true! The top of hat would never scrap me! How do you know? I mean, all I could hear was how much you whined and complained about how much your Boiler ached. Yes, well, who who hasn't ever complained about boiler ache? There's nothing worse than a steamy that keeps breaking down. Henry did not break down, Diesel. He couldn't build enough steam. Which is why the fat controller gave him Welsh coal, to give him a chance. Yeah, but Welsh coal costs a lot of money. If the fat controller didn't have all that money... He would never scrap any of his engines. But he would send them away. Like, oh say, two diesels that spent all day teaching steamies instead of doing their work. <gasps> oh dear, Diesel, we gotta hurry. Uh, sorry to interrupt you three, but we gotta go now. Ah, uh, oh my, oh my, we're going. But just remember what I said, Henry. Without that new shape of yours, you would have been just another pile for the smelter's yard. <laughs> oh, such a rude engine. 
I know! Makes me wonder how he keeps getting to stay on soda! Henry didn't say anything, but he looked very worried. He never told any of the others, but when he was in his old shape, he was afraid that he would get scrapped if it weren't for the Welsh coal. But he did complain a lot before that. A little later, Henry puffed to tip his sheds for a rest. He was exhausted after pulling the kipper all night. But he wasn't sure he could sleep. The fat controller wouldn't scrap any of us, would he? No, no, Diesel's just trying to rattle my boiler. I'm still really useful. I... I'm sure of it. But as Henry backed into his berth, he wasn't so sure of himself. But he was too tired to worry about anything else. Finally, he fell asleep right as his buffers touched the bar. But the next time Henry opened his eyes, he was surprised. He wasn't in his berth anymore. He was outside, puffing on the railway. But what surprised Henry most of all... I'm on a flatbed at my old shape! What do you mean, old shape, Stinky Jamie? You've always looked like that. But not for long. Harry? And Bert? What are you doing? What do you think we're doing, Henry? Check your boiler. Scrap? But, but, but that's only written on engine stat! Henry could only gasp in horror. He could see the smelting yard smelting shed in the distance. But wait! I can't be scrapped! I've worked for years! Please, just give me a chance to... Sorry, Henry, but the fat controller says you're too expensive to keep. But don't worry, you'll make very fine scrap indeed. <laughs> no! No! Please! Someone help me! No! Henry looked around again. He wasn't in the smelting shed, or on a flatbed. He was back at Tibma's sheds, and still in his new shape. Thank goodness. It was only a dream. What was only a dream, Henry? <gasps> <laughs> oh, sir, uh, when did you get here? I just got here, Henry. I wanted to tell you that I need you to collect flatbeds of logs from the forest and take them to the timber yard. But are you feeling all right? Henry wanted to tell the fat controller about his nightmare, but he remembered how much he used to complain to him about his boiler. He didn't want to bother anyone with his worries. Oh, uh, I'm fine, sir. Just a little tired from pulling the kipper last night. Nothing working in the forest won't fix. <laughs> uh, that's a good engine? Henry was feeling a little better. He loved getting to work in the forest, but he couldn't stop thinking about what Diesel had said, or the terrible dream he had. Keep it together, Henry. Gorn and James are right. Although, there are a lot of engines I haven't seen in a while. Hank, Flora, Molly, Boko, Kutiaf... <laughs> no, that's just silly. Right? At the far end of the forest, Harvey was finishing loading logs onto the flatbeds James had brought. <sighs> Finally! I don't know how Henry can stand working in this forest. It is too quiet around here. Ah! There you are, Henry! Feeling better? A little. Just answer me one question. Why haven't we seen engines like Hank, Flora or Marley? <laughs> Don't you remember? Hank went back to his original railway because he missed working on the bigger railways. Flora is always busy on the Great Waterton tram lines and Molly's working hard at the coaling plants. 
I just spoke with her yesterday. Oh, oh, uh, I knew that. I did. But wait, whatever happened to Boko? I haven't seen him in a while. Hello, James and Henry. Can't stop and talk today. Lots of work to do. Any other questions, Henry? I'll, uh, I'll let you know if I think of any others. <laughs> This made Henry feel much better, but he was still thinking about the nightmare, he didn't notice the points had been set in the wrong direction. Must not think about my dream, I'll try and think about trucks instead! Hmm, let's see... Upper trucks, main trucks, flatbeds, trucks of scrap- THE TRUCKS OF SCRAP?! <laughs> Before he knew it, he found himself right in the middle of the scrapyard, right next to a long line of scrap trucks. His dream started playing with his head again. Henley was too shaken up to do anything. Hello? Whoa ho ho! -ho! Easy there, Henry! It's only me! Sorry, Red. I thought I was going to be scrapped. Really? Hmm. Let me get a look at you. Let's see. Wheel's still running and steam is still flowing. Nope. Sorry, Henry. You look too useful for scrapping. No scrunching and bunching for you today. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I must have been set down the wrong points. I was just a little distracted. Distracted? By what? Well, um... Fault, Henry. I've got really important engines to deal with. Oh boy, my two favourite diesels. How can I help you today? Just finished loading up our truck so we can get to the smelter's yard. Sure thing, your majesty. <laughs> What's your problem, silly steamy? But Henry didn't say anything. He just reversed as fast as he could towards the junction. What's his problem? I don't know. Maybe he was just intimidated to be among superior diesels. Right! That's what it is! Henry was so frightened, he didn't stop until he reached the points at the junction. Finally, away from those two. Henry, I saw you coming. Is something the matter? Oh, uh, nothing gone. Just took the wrong track is all. As Henry waited for his driver to change the points, he couldn't help but feel miserable. He wanted to tell his friends about his dream, but he didn't want to sound like he was complaining, like he used to. Finally, he was on his way again. He dropped off the logs at the timber mill, then puffed slowly home. When he puffed the timber sheds, however, a nasty surprise was waiting for him. Gordon and James sat calmly on the points outside the shed, blocking the way. Gordon, James, what are you doing? Let me through! Not so fast, Henry. First we want to know what's going on. Uh, wh what do you mean? You've been acting very strange all day! Asking me weird questions! Running backwards in junctions? And Red says you thought he was going to scrap you! Oh, Dad! Dad was... Uh... Does this have to do with what Diesel said this morning? No! Well, sort of. I mean... 
Henry, if there's something wrong, you know you can always tell us. No, I can't. You've heard enough of my complaining when I was in my old shape. Remember how tired of it you were? Oh, right. That. Well, I admit Gordon and I were a little less patient with your condition. But there's a difference between complaining and saying what's on your mind. And trust me, lots of engines complain when something's wrong. Just look at James. Yeah, just look at... Hey! Oh, the point is, if something has been bothering you, you can tell us. And me. So, how did you... I could tell something was wrong when I came to see you this morning, Henry. So I talked to James and Gordon. They told me what Diesel said this morning. So I came to see what has gotten into you, Henry. Henry looked at the Fat Controller and his two friends. All of them had the same face. A face that made Henry feel less afraid. A face that told him that he could tell them anything. So Henry took a deep breath. After Diesel teased me about my old shape, I came home for a rest and had the scariest dream I ever had. I dreamt that I was back in my old shape and Ari and Bert were taking me to the smelters because I was too expensive to keep. I didn't know how to tell you all because I didn't want to sound like I was complaining again, so I didn't. Gordon, James, and the Fat Controller were horrified. Well, that explains why you were so jumpy. Whew, just hearing that story makes my wheels wobble. It makes my coupling rod shake! Well, now I understand what you were so afraid of, and I admire that you were brave enough to finally tell us your problems, but don't you feel better for telling? I do feel better, sir. But I didn't want to. Henry, you should always feel like you can tell your fellow engines or me anything. I know, sir. I know. And you know better than Diesel that I always give my engines a fair chance before sending them away. And never would dream of scrapping them. You know that, don't you? Yes, sir. I really know it now. But I can't. I know you can't help but worry, Henry, and it would be wrong for anyone to try and change that. But how about this? Why don't you take tonight off from pulling the flying kipper? James can take it for you. What? Me? Pull the flying kipper? But sure! <coughs> oh, I mean, uh, of course, yeah. I'd be happy to help my friend. But I get the wash down first tomorrow. And so that night, James pulled the flying kipper for Henry. He really didn't like it, but he carried on, knowing he was helping his friend. Do it for Henry! Do it for Henry! And Henry got some well-deserved sleep in Tidmer's sheds. He didn't have a single nightmare all night, because he knew he would never have to worry about being scrapped. And he knew that no matter what, he can always rely on his friends, like Gordon and James, to help him out of anything, even his own worries.